here for Hong Tong Bao. Um, that's one of their like must try. And this tree, you can see the little bits of gold leaf and stuff on it. My name is Justin Steele. I'm a tour guide based in Sydney, Australia. My Chinese name is Wen Hailin. When I was 15 or 16 years old, I did a exchange in Guilin. The homestay family said, we have decided a Chinese name. We think this suits your personality. And it was Wen Hailin. Wen Wen Wen, Da Hai Da Hai, Tin Lin Da Lin. I grew up in the Chinese suburb of Brisbane. A lot of my classmates were Asian background or Chinese background. So I started studying Mandarin in primary school and then I continued it all the way through high school and into university as well. I've always enjoyed showing people around and telling stories and bringing people together. I thought, what are my skills? And speaking Mandarin was one of them. And I saw all these Chinese tourists coming to Sydney and I thought maybe I can show them around. The most impressive or the thing that I always got a real kick out of doing was being able to switch to Mandarin with my Chinese guests because you could see sometimes in their eyes when they weren't understanding a story. But if you can say something, you know, you can just see that those kind of barriers are broken down. Yo, how are you doing? These guys are one of my favorite restaurants in, in Chinatown. Liang Pi and the Rou Jia Mo are some of the specialties. And I always used to like coming here and eating myself. So if I can bring a few more people into their shop. Before COVID, our Chinese guests would have accounted for probably around 15% of our customers without international travelers and without even interstate visitors. It's been really tough. I'm still here, I'm still surviving. I want to support those businesses in Chinatown because I think those ones are the ones that have been hit the hardest. This Chinatown tour is focused on telling the stories of Chinese Australians and to celebrate the contributions that Chinese people have made to Australia over the last 200 years. From here we start. 200 years ago, the first Chinese Australian who came to Sydney and then from there we go to the gold rush and then we keep on moving forward in time as we walk through Chinatown and then we end up over near Darling Square in the present day. There are a lot of people in Sydney in Australia of Chinese background. Those people are really important in helping build and strengthen the relationship. I hope my little tour in part can help play a role in improving relations and improving people's knowledge and recognition of the importance of the Australia-China relationship, I guess, um, through tourism. <laughs>